Associates. My name's Lila Schreiber, and I'm a senior from Ashland, Oregon. Just the idea of the Global Citizen Corps I thought was really fantastic about making people, making youth, especially high school students, into global leaders. The Global Citizen Corps has really opened my eyes to the social issues of the world. The motto is like, awareness plus action equals impact. So we usually try to do some sort of awareness like through posters or announcements and then action like petitions or writing letters. There's a lot of things that happen in this town where it's like, oh, let's take a bunch of young people here and we'll give them a training session and they can go home with a little certificate and that's great. We're not like that. We treat you seriously as part of this process. You are here to help get something done. The issue is really a simple one. I mean, there's 72 million children who aren't in school, and that's absurd. Benefits of education for 200? That is why we're all here, to push this Education for All Act, so that these 70 plus million children can have the opportunity to lift themselves and their families out of extreme poverty. So we're talking about really framing your message. How do you frame your message to get to certain different kinds of people? So this morning we did a role play situation where um, I think there were about eight people who were role playing as congressmen or women um, or their um, staffers. Uh, my name's Faye again. I'm here to tell you about the Education for All Act bill. It's been sponsored by Senator Backus and Congressman Smith. Some people were a congressperson who didn't know anything about the bill. Someone else was someone already a co-sponsor. All sorts of different people that we might run into when we when we go to the Hill. This, this campaign really improved the reputation of our country. I thought it was really interesting and informative uh, in terms of how they were telling us how to frame the message for each different person. Now, you introduced yourselves, you made it clear there was a global situation. Or I gained like an in-depth understanding of education and public policy and how how to really make things happen you have to work with you know DC and kind of the bureaucracy of our government I still keep in touch with people from Israel and Tajikistan and New York It's always really great to meet young people from across the world who are just as passionate about creating change. It makes it, you know, exponentially more fun and so much richer to, to be able to connect with others. It, it electrifies everything and it's just, there's this energy, it's inexplicable. I hope I can get it onto this tape so that more people will come. So I understand you're going to be on the Hill. Don't underestimate the power of your voices on the Hill tomorrow. And the fact, I mean, I think there's nothing more important than uh, congressional people hearing that there's this power, this commitment, this vision from this generation. I've learned a lot through this training and everything, and I've seen people that really care about what's going on. And there are teens my age who do care. You know, I've got the confidence again, yeah, you know what, I, I can change the world, sure. You know, it's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> what I really hope to achieve is that the Education for All Act gets passed and it happens every year, not just one year and stops. Depending on how convincing I am and how, how articulate I can be, I think that I definitely can make a difference right there. That's, that's exciting to see that and see, see government in action come, come alive out of the textbooks. Uh, I'm really excited. I want to see what's going to happen tomorrow for day two. You guys are amazing. We had so much fun with you. Do you guys know that Faye is making a speech today at the press conference? Yeah. Last night I was studying, trying to make up things, mm -hmm. if they were to refute it, you know, mm -hmm. and say, oh no, we don't want this, and I was like trying to find answers, and I felt like a lawyer. <laughs> I love this. It's exciting. It's exciting. He'll be fine, I know you. <laughs> I want to get a signature right now, man. I think that's the, the brain trust that come in here.
I just really want them to know that their community and the state is behind them and hopefully they can get more people to sign on to it. I'm terrified. Uh, I just wrote my speech two minutes ago and I'm writing the notes right now. I think that I got the message across. I hope that this and these dolls will convince him to co-sponsor that. Um, my next meeting is with Senator Evan Bayh, so he has more political power, I would say, since he's in the Senate. I'm feeling great. <laughs> yeah. You ready to take on Victor? Oh yeah, definitely. We feel that it's a human right for everybody in the world to experience at least a primary education. More likely than not, he is going to sign out. So yeah, or that's spoken to him, so. that's very encouraging. We are all here united to urge our congressmen and women to fulfill this promise and pass the Education for All Act. So you're done? We are done. Yes. How do you feel? Good. Yeah, yeah. successful. Mm -hmm. I feel extremely uh, accomplished, like I did something. When we pull off, you know, an event with over 200 kids involved and like everyone's happy or everyone gets the message, it's, it's such a rush that you get. And I think it's so important for um, for us to be here, not only to have our voice heard, but to kind of demonstrate that young people can make a difference and together we can change the world.